Hello everyone, it's Constance. This episode might be a little bit long-winded. I've uh, got a few notes of things that I want to discuss, but I'm probably gonna ramble. And I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible, uh, but there's a lot to discuss, a lot of feelings. And I've been very introspective the last few days, and it's, a lot to do with my mental health issues. It's a lot to do with becoming unemployed again. And I'm trying not to let these setbacks define me because I'm stronger than that. I know that I am. Sometimes it's just a little bit hard to believe. And one thing that I've been doing is doing some research on fellow transgender females on YouTube. And I've stumbled across a couple channels that I'm really enjoying. And the first one is Amanda and Shay. They are a married couple. Um, who uh, began as Mormons and have since left the church. Um, I'm not too far into their journey as of yet, but their videos are so eloquently done and so poignant and provocative and, and talks at the heart. And to kind of give a brief synopsis of what their channel is about, as I said, they were a Mormon family. They have three children and Shay has come out as transgender. And a lot of this is the journey that Amanda and Shay have as a married couple dealing with a partner that's transgender and it's fascinating and there are so many parallels to my own life as far as how being transgender can interrupt your relationship and Amanda and Shay seem to have a great relationship regardless and you know what so do I and that is so relevant and it's so hard hitting at the same time but it's also remarkably rewarding because it's made me realize how lucky I am to have my spouse in my life even after transitioning. And that means a lot because the amount of support that I get from my husband is irreplaceable. And he could have easily divorced me and moved on to somebody else, but he's stayed true to me as I am. Another channel that I've stumbled across is Brianna Sinclair, and this is a journey of a transgender female who um, is in the beginning stages of her transition, and she brings a lot of insight into what it means to be transgender, and and the struggles that she deals with, and she deals with them 
with a positive attitude. And that is something that I truly appreciate as I try to live my best with a positive attitude and It's so heartwarming to find these strong transgender women on YouTube and it means the world to me. It's, it's so enlightening. It's so powerful. I love it. I really do. And in this world of division and often a world of hate, it's important that we embrace each other and find common ground and build each other up. So to Shay and Brianna, thank you for your efforts and your time and your stories, your lives. They are compelling and I can't wait to see more. As far as my own life, I've been on HRT for a year and a half now, and I think I stated in my last vlog that I feel like I've reached a plateau, and other trans females have said, just trust the process. And I'm still doing estrogen and progesterone, and I've been taken off the T-blockers because my testosterone levels dropped tremendously. I probably need some blood work to see if that is still the case. However, my transgender, uh, gender-affirming care, rather, uh, facility is closing uh, as of November 1st. And I have the opportunity to get in at Planned Parenthood for gender-affirming care, um, which I have to call on Monday. I thought I was going to be able to set up something online, but they recommended calling, uh, which means there could be a wait time. And... I'm pretty well stocked up on estrogen. Um, I might need some more progesterone by the time everything rolls around, if that's the case. It's just going to remain to be seen. And I just, I just want to make sure that my needs are taken care of. And by somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't have faith in my current primary care provider. I just recently gained a new one because my last one graduated. And she was the one that recommended the uh, gender affirming care clinic that I've been going to for a year and a half. Um, but sadly, they have to close their doors. Because of the damn political environment that we live in. So with all that being said, uh, I guess there's not much more else to say in this episode. I wish all of you nothing but happiness and joy in your lives and be good to one another, be kind, be grateful and appreciative. Love and light to you all.